hello leo welcome back to my channel honey if you are new here welcome and if you are returning welcome back um i'm going to do a quick read for you guys okay i'm going to find out what's going on with your love life with your situation in love for the month of january all right so if you're new here welcome and if you are returning welcome back um let's get into a prayer y'all because we do pray here on the channel for those of you that are new let's get into that and then let's get into your messages and pull them in Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body is the best of giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Leo. So this is a general one and not a personal one. It may or it may not resonate with you. Take what's yours and leave the rest. All right, angels, let me have four messages here for Leo, please. What's coming in towards Leo in love for January? What's coming in towards Leo in love, please? Four cards, please, for Leo. Alrighty, let's go ahead and clarify these cards. This one wanted to come out, so we let that through. Clarify these cards for Leo. What is coming towards Leo in love for January? Okay. All right, Leo. So, angels have spoken. So, what we have here is some sort of a, uh, a situation where you're feeling like you're either full of it, um, full of what's going on here, or they're either full of what's happening. It's, it's either or. Just take what's coming towards your energy because roles can be reversed. Uh, but someone is just saying, you know what? You're full of it. You're just full of it. Okay? Um, period. Now, I do feel like there may be a relationship that is really coming in as one that may either feels like it was a committed one at one point. Someone may, if it wasn't a marriage, it does feel like a relationship that felt like it was pretty much an exclusive one. Someone didn't want anyone to date anyone. All right? But what's really happening here is someone chose to go out and hook up with other people. Even though someone was coming in as, all right, I want to be with you. I, I want us to be exclusive. Just, they, just see where things will go. Someone was still dating someone. Or someone was trying to be with someone else. And someone was still connected to their past situation here. Someone's connected to their past twin flame was having a hard time letting go of this twin flame connection in order to focus on you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and clarify what's happening here. What's really happening here um, and what's coming through for the month of January. Old. So um, what we have here is the two of wands. We also have the world in the reverse. The Queen of Cups in the reverse. I'm sorry, in the upright and the Eight of Swords. All right, so what we have here, I do feel as if there's a situation here, as far as the Two of Wands is concerned, someone is really trying to clear their mind, trying to clear their mindset. Someone is ready to just walk away. Someone is ready to go. Someone is just saying, you know what? I'm kind of pandering and wondering and hoping and wondering, waiting and waiting around. I'm just ready to go here. Um, someone is having to clear a plan and just step forward with this two of wands. Choosing to move forward is what is necessary. Um, but someone feels like, okay, am I leaving my comfort zone? Do I kind of leave this and see what else is, is out there. It's, it's a sense of kind of a fear here. 
But because this two of wands is really having me that this fear, fear is kind of sitting in here. Um, I do feel though, with this work card in the reverse, someone is definitely needing closure here. Needing closure, needing clarity. Um, someone feels incomplete here or just basically not satisfied, not finished yet, but anxious for the next thing, the next move here. Okay. Um, I do also feel as if um, one is just emotionally um, intuitive here with this Queen of Cups. Okay. Is how I feel, you, how I see you coming. Very nurturing here as a queen um, or a king. I do feel someone be very loving here and was ready to support what was going to, or one what hoped would have happened here. Um, very compassionate, very sensitive. I do feel someone is either on a spiritual level here. So as we see or what we feel. Um, one really wants to have a fulfillment with someone here, but someone was very distracted and wanted to be exclusive and bring a twin flame back into their life. What I see is coming in out of all of this is this uh, Eight of Swords really had me feel like this really had someone feeling very burdened and very trapped and very stuck here, self-limited and thoroughly out of speech, so speechless. I do feel like someone felt really self-restricted here. I do feel like for some of you, might have or even been a victim of a mental situation here. Or for some of you, felt very insecure within oneself or definitely felt isolated, okay? But what I do see is forward movement that is needed here. The character that you need is right here. And um, yeah, it's time that you move forward here and know what is best for you moving into the next. Right, Leo? That is going to be your quick read for today. I hope it resonates with you. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you have not. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend. I'll see you in my next one. But until then, always remember to seek first and you always find later.